What is the tallest country? And by that, I don't mean what country has the tallest people, I mean north-south, what country spans the most distance? So at first I thought it was going to make a short, but it turns out the answer just isn't as simple as you would think. It really depends on your definition of spanning distance. Take Japan for example. Most of the country lives in a few of these large islands, but there's actually over 10,000 small ones. So do we count all of them? And if we count those, then what about Denmark? Should we then count Greenland? Countries can have territories and islands all over the world, and this inflates their north-south distance a bit unfairly. So let's come up with a few different definitions and see how they size up. So I think the simplest way would be the northernmost latitude of territory versus the southernmost. We'll be really generous here and consider not just the mainland, but islands, overseas territories, commonwealths, dependencies, you name it. If you could put troops here and not cause an issue, we'll count it in the calculation. So at first, I figured this would be the United States. And this is because we have a state all the way up in the Arctic Circle, as well as tons of overseas territories. But as it turns out, the answer is actually Norway. This might seem a little bit unexpected until you realize just how many islands they have. Now one of them is Ross Island. This is in Svalbard, and it's one of the closest islands there is to the North Pole. But the other one is a lot further south. This is Bouvet Island. It's located in the South Atlantic, and it has been an official Norwegian dependency for almost 100 years. Now no one lives here, but it still counts. So from the northern tip of Svalbard to the southern tip of Bouvet Island is a distance of over 9300 miles. So I did some math, and this means that 90% of the Earth's surface is between Norway. Side note, as if that weren't enough, Norway even has a claim to Antarctica. Now the thing about Antarctica is no one is really allowed to own it, it's the common heritage of humanity, but if we really wanted to be generous and count it toward Norway's official territory, then this gives them a claim all the way to the South Pole. So that 90% figure becomes 99%. Not bad for a country smaller than Miami. But this definition just kind of seems like cheating. So now let's just completely ignore all exclaves and overseas territories. The only land we will count is the mainland, plus any immediate major islands off the coast. So for example, Italy gets to keep Sicily, and Australia gets to keep Tasmania, but not Bishop Islet. That's just too far. Basically, if you could take a small ferry from the mainland to the island, we will count it toward a measurement. Now this to me was not that surprising. It's Canada. The islands in the north are substantial portions of Canada's land area, and they extend pretty far into the Arctic. In fact, Ellesmere Island is one of the farthest places north you can go and still be on dry land. The country also reaches pretty far south, below Detroit. So from Middle Island to Ellesmere Island, the total north-south distance is more than 2,800 miles. But now what if we narrow our definition even further and only count the mainland of a country in our measurement? This might be the most fair, since not all countries have access to extra islands. So for this definition, there can be nothing more than rivers separating the land. So I went exploring, and I have to say I did not expect this result at all. It's Brazil. From the southernmost point to the northernmost point is a change of latitude of nearly 2,700 miles, and this is all contiguous. If you had a few months to spare, you could walk all the way from the border with Uruguay to the border with Guyana. So here you have it. Depending on the definition, you get three different countries. But notice something, Chile isn't on this list. It's famous for being very tall, and it definitely is, but even including these islands in the south, Brazil, still slightly taller.